YouTube, back with a quick video here. Well, it's not going to be quick. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit long, but well deserving. Uh, I actually got this package about a about a week and a half ago, and I just wanted to make sure I had time to shoot a video for it and do it justice. So, a uh, little backstory on it. Uh, Dave Blue Jacket sixty six. Uh, one of his videos a few months ago, he had shot uh, talking about the seventy nine. Uh, Bowman extension set that him and his father had put together and uh, he'd offered up a couple sets to the first two guys that commented and I was like heck yes I said I'll take one of those if it's not too late and so he sent it to me and as soon as I got it I got a display for it and got it put in and I had uh, uh, hit him back with a note and wanted to know if he'd send me an autograph so I could uh, put it in the display with it so uh, so he hit me with it and that's awesome fits in there perfect looks really good in there so uh, I think that's awesome but uh, he said he'd hit me with a uh, uncut sheet autographed as well uh, so of course in Dave Blue Jacket 66 fashion he totally blew me away with uh, what he sent so uh, let me throw my white gloves on here because this is uh to me this is a museum piece if you ask if you ask me but uh, anyway uh first off he, he did send me a nice letter uh i'm not gonna i'm not gonna share it with everybody because it's a pretty special letter to me and uh it's just something i'd like to keep between dave and i uh but anyway in, in the end of the letter uh, he did say that you know he's counting on me to keep this story alive and i just wanted to tell dave that i could promise him that i would definitely keep this story and the history of this set alive uh and make sure that i pass it on to somebody that'll do the same because this is this this is pretty impressive <laughs> what they did you know uh back in 1979 you know Tops was king, and I'm sure trying to get into this uh, was a major uh, deal. But uh, yeah. but anyway, so he uh, he threw in this uh, uncut sheet, and he signed, put him in his dad's name on it in September '79. Uh, just beautiful set, beautiful. And then, of course, they threw in another one that just uh, they didn't sign it. So I'm definitely going to get get both these framed up, uh, super nice as well, and because they they should be definitely displayed, but. And yeah, you'd think that'd be enough, right? That's that would be all a guy would need. But nope. Dave went above and beyond. He actually sent me all the photographs that him and his dad used. Uh and these were these were photographs, you know, taken out of magazines from when his father was uh growing up, you know. Uh, so but for him to send me this stuff and and they're just awesome they got the some of them have the notes on the backs of them of what i i think like the size like they wanted to sh shrink it down or blow it up probably shrink it down a little bit uh, and some of these pictures you know are ones that they didn't even use you know that they were debating on what which ones they should use so he threw them all in uh, like here's the Ralph Kiner. Let me uh, see if I can get this up here by it so you can see. So there's the there's the Kiner card, and there's the photograph that they went with. Uh, of course, here's uh here's a Mickey Mantle that they that they ended up going with uh, the other one, but that's a sweet sweet photo of the Mick right there for sure get that to stay up there 
No, probably not. There's right. one of Warren Spawn that they did go with. I think they made a good selection on the one they went with. I like that Warren Spawn right there. Of course, early win. And there's the Yogi. Bob Feller. Monty Irvin. You can see that's that's one they went with. They just uh, cropped it. Pretty cool. And same with the uh, Jackie. Just cropped him down. It's a sweet photograph. And some of the notes on the back. Whitey Ford, classic Whitey Ford uh, pose, and of course the uh, that's the Whitey Ford, uh, Ford that they went with. Just to can imagine these, you know, all laid out on the table and Dave and his dad looking at them and talking about them. Ted Williams. Eddie Matthews. Just all the hard work, you know, the lawyers and all this, just Satchel Page. That was I like that's definitely one of my favorites right there. That's a awesome selection on him. And then there was a Robert Roberts. Of course this is one that they, they didn't go with. There's the there's the Robin Roberts, but uh uh, some of the other photos. They went with. You know, you see in that photo, he's got the socks on his hat. And then, of course, they had to take that off for some of the guys. There's the Robin Roberts. Staying the man usual. Born and Spawn. That was a good one there. I like that one. Of course, Willie Mays. And there's the Whitey Ford that they ended up going with right there. But nice to see Whitey in a different pose rather than his other normal classic pose that he always does. So that's kind of cool. And then, of course, here's the Mick that they went with. But anyway, he also threw in the envelope from the printing company that they were that the pictures were all in. I think that's pretty good. So uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, Dave, thank you, sir. Uh, I can promise you that this collection uh, will be passed along to somebody that's going to appreciate it as much as I do. And uh, none of this stuff will be sold. Uh, this this stuff's priceless anyway. So the to me, just keeping it alive, like you said, and passing down the history is... Uh, far more uh, important than any amount of money 
Uh, this stuff just it belongs in a Hall of Fame, uh, baseball card Hall of Fame or whatever. But it's just it's that it's that impressive to me. So uh, anyway, get another one more look at that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, Dave, thanks again. Uh, hopefully someday meet you in person and be able to shake your hand. Uh, all right, guys, we'll talk to you later.